My name is Sue Williams and I'm a senior lecturer in fine art. Um, for the least for the last 20 odd years I've been a practitioner in um, mainly painting and drawing. Um, a lot of my work is off-centre, it's not conventional, so for me painting is not just about a pure painting practice, so I find myself working with material and stitching cloth onto canvas and um, in a way indirectly recreating a three-dimensional space. I also work in terms of um, the visual imagery, I work in, in theatre and I work in occasionally, recently in film. When I first left um, art college I was very keen to sort of stay as a practitioner. I didn't have any doubts that I would not carry on with my work. Um, so I decided that the best way I could do it was to have exhibitions, plan two a year. So even if it was in a church um, hall or a, a, a shop front, it was an exhibition. So I built up gradually until I found myself applying for artist grants, which enabled me to then have a little bit more financial support. Um, I also did a lot of um, residencies in hospitals and libraries and just built up a, a reputation and also confidence in my own practice. Um, Artist Monday was an important step for me because it actually enabled me to be recognised. I mean, it was quite curious because two curators came, one from Paris and one from uh, South America. They came into my studio, which was a very private place for me. And then both of them made it quite clear that they wanted me involved in the Artist Monday final decision making. And, uh, and then I found myself being invited to Africa and um, exhibiting in a number of different galleries out there. So it's been it's just gone from there really, it's just from leaps and bounds and now I'm at the moment exhibiting in Madrid and Cologne. But the most recent one which is to do with my work at the moment is uh, my collaboration with a heart surgeon which is to do with sexual dysfunction. So all my work's been about um, communication and gender communication. So we've both joined forces to work on the issues of sexual dysfunction and how people don't communicate and don't talk. So I do have a show in Cardiff starting tomorrow night that is part of the process to get a bigger, I would say, multidisciplinary work in a couple of years' time. I think that um, Teaching can't work for me without my art practice because whatever influences me, I find excites me and then I feel excited when I share it with the students. So I think my excitement rubs off on them and eventually I sort of help them to understand that they can find their own voices. Plus I think in my own studio it's like living in a big playpen and I keep inspiring and encouraging them to see their studio time at college to be like a big playpen. They can do what they like, throw their toys out, bring them back in and experiment.